Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I will be showing you my house tour. So if you don't know, I moved recently and I'm now living on my own and I wanted to show you my new place. Okay, let's go into my place and I'll show you it. So first we're greeted by a nice flight of stairs. I always need to make sure to hold the handle so that I don't trip. My name is Angela and I'm a visually impaired designer. So when you first enter my house, there's the flight of stairs and I walk up every time I need to leave or go with my front door. Then we go down this hall. On the right, we have my office. And then on the left, we have my living room. We'll look at the office in a minute. So when you come into the living room, we have a nice gray couch. This couch can fold down and so it works as a bed as well as a couch. I got this awesome leather ottoman to make it more comfortable for $15 at the thrift store. Woohoo! I have a great uh, air conditioning unit I just bought because this place is not air conditioned. This is the best purchase I've made. Then we have my TV area where I use my TV for watching shows. I have a Nintendo Switch. Then over here we have an older chair that I got from my aunt and a side table with a lamp and some decorations. And then over here in the dark corner, you probably can't see much, but I have all my games that I like to play up here. So these are in the living room for when friends come over to play. All right, so next let's go check out the office. So over here is where all the magic happens. I spend the majority of my day in here. I over here have my filing cabinet, all my office supplies. I have it in a container where I've labeled everything. I have a light box for taking photography for my design work that I put on my website. I have a Cricut maker, which I absolutely love, and we'll be showing videos for that soon, so keep an eye out. I have a printer and then supplies for my Cricut and my printer on the bottom. Then if we come over here, we have my bookshelf. I have books that I designed in a previous job. I have books that are about accessibility and design. And I've shared a video about that. I'll make sure to link that as well. Below, I have some bins where I have craft supplies. On top, I have my new Braille that I just purchased. If you haven't seen that video, go check that one out. It's also fun. And then I have some posters on the wall. One that I created for a tech base and one of Seattle because I miss Seattle so much. Then over here, we have my desk area. I still have my dual monitors. I have a keyboard. I have two laptops on my desk where I use one for work and one for my personal use. So I just keep those here at all times and I use them interchangeably. Then I have a little seating area where I started to film videos. And then I have a workbench where I do all sorts of folding things, cutting things. Basically this is just always empty so that I can have a designated space to do whatever I need to for crafts or projects. Below it, there's a shelf where I have tapes, I have my cutting supplies, staplers, anything you could possibly need to use on this surface. Then below, I just have some more storage, like paint and paper. Then when you're going from the office, you can either go back to your left to the living room, or you can go directly into the kitchen. So let's go into the kitchen. So first we have here my pantry. I still haven't organized it. I will actually be labeling and organizing this. All right, so then on this side of the kitchen, I have a cork board where I can hang stuff. I have a whiteboard. My friend came up with some rules the first day I moved in. His rules for my house were no pineapple. So if you don't know, I absolutely cannot stand the taste of pineapple and everyone who knows me knows it. For sure. So he made that a rule, which I'm totally fine with. The second rule is no complaining. That rule has been broken a lot in this house, so not sure why he picked that. The third rule is no bears allowed. And the fourth rule is no burning the house down, which is an interesting rule because the first night that I was here, there's two fire alarms in the kitchen and in the hall, and I set them off the first night because I have a gas stove. I never used a gas stove and it's very finicky and I have to have the window open whenever I cook. That will be interesting in the winter. <laughs> but then I have a microwave cart. So I got this microwave cart 
because one of my biggest favorite things is having literally nothing on the counter. I can't stand it when things are on the counter cluttered and everything. It drives me nuts. I want to have area to prepare things. And so I specifically bought this to hold the microwave so that this counter could be empty at all times. Then over here, we have on the left side all the cupboards where I keep all my stuff. In here, I want to show you a couple of things. This holds all the stuff I use on a regular basis. I have a pressure cooker, a rice cooker, Tupperware for storage, cups, plates, and bowls. Pretty simple, basic things. Then down below, I have stuff like knives, utensils, and spatulas and such. The drawers below have my pots and pans and serving platters and stuff I use less regularly. Then under the sink, I have cleaning supplies. I have this dish rack that I bought specifically because it can be folded up and put away. One downside to this home is it doesn't have a dishwasher. So this is pretty much just always on the counter, even though I hate it, but it's functional. Then I have a cupboard for cooking supplies, so like spices and oils and whatnot. And then I have some drawers for saran wraps, bags, below there's also rags and pot holders down there. Then on the right side of the kitchen, we have the stove, which I said is a gas stove. I'm still trying to learn how to use it, but it's been good so far. Then I have a fridge and a freezer. So this freezer, because I have the deep freezer, is specifically my party freezer where I keep all my smoothie food and my popsicles. If I could eat ice cream, it would be in here, but I don't like non-dairy ice cream, so I just stick with popsicles. Then on top of the fridge, I have some cute containers that I purchased for this house specifically, which I'll be labeling and putting food in like rice and flour and stuff. All right, let's go see the back part of the house. So in the closet, we just have a storage room. No need for you to see that. Just all the stuff I don't use very often. I also have stuff to keep my supplies up with like paper towels and toilet paper and such. So I have to always be frantically going to the store. I prefer that. Then I just keep my laundry in the hall, pretty simple. And then I have this closet that I bought at Ikea recently because the room that I want to be in my bedroom doesn't have an official closet. I just bought this closet for a couple hundred dollars. It's great. It's divided in two halves. So it has hanging clothes on the top and then room for shoes on the bottom. I keep my nicer clothes that I use for work and church and that kind of thing on this side. And then the clothes that I actually wear more often is on this side where it's more and more casual everyday clothes and then my shoes. Then if we go to the right of the closet, we have the bathroom. It's a pretty quirky small room. It's very nice, but it works. So there's a sink. I store stuff like toilet paper below. Inside here in the mirror, I keep hair products and face products. Then I have a nice little built-in wall thing where I keep my makeup and my hair accessories. Then to the right of the sink, I have a cart that I bought. This I got so that I had more storage in here. I like to be organized. So on the top, I have stuff I use every day. I have feminine products and then I have my straightener and curlers and stuff on the bottom. Then it's my toilet, you know, so exciting. But actually this toilet is pretty exciting. You probably never want to use it because it is slanted with the house. <laughs> it's <pretty laughs> so for like the first two weeks that I lived here, it drove me nuts. And I noticed the other night when I was using the toilet that I didn't even realize it was slanted anymore. So I've adapted, so whatever. Then here I have a bathtub and what you could call a shower. I mean, look at it. This is the most Jimmy rig thing you'll ever see. So from the faucet, it has a hose that goes up all the way to the other side. And it's like a handheld shower head doesn't work great, doesn't stay in place. I still need to figure out a solution to make it stay. But hey, the things that come with cheap rent and make it so I can live on my own for the first time, I can handle it. Then when we leave the bathroom, we go over here to the right and it's my bedroom. Watch your head, cause it's really short and narrow. 
so in here I just basically sleep in here I don't do much else in here I have a dresser where I keep some folding clothes I have a nightstand where I use things that I use while I'm sleeping like a face mask and earplugs I have a second air conditioner here which is a lifesaver when you don't have air conditioning I have my bed nothing fancy just an average old bed and sheets over here there's a built-in unit that's really nice it's shelves so I have on the bottom my jewelry on the next shelf I just have some decorations like a cork board and some pictures from my nieces then here I have a picture that a silhouette I got from Disneyland which is super cool I have my Alexa in here oh I didn't mention I have Alexas in all the rooms um, so that's nice then I have a whiteboard where I keep the it updated to the current month so I know what day of the month it is and then I just have some decorations and essential oils on top that I can use at night all right well that's everything for my house tour thanks so much for watching give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel below and turn on the notification bell I hope that you all have a fantastic week bye